Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at a little bit different uh, install of Debian. Um, this was recommended to me by Mark Lilly. Um, he had come across this particular website, which basically is all of the Debian Jesse downloads but they they include the non-free components when you install so in other words if you prefer the XFCE desktop which is what I have here um, I just clicked on this XFCE desktop plus non-free and it was 1.1 gig I downloaded it, burned it to a USB, and installed it. Now it has non-free components, so in my case, that means that Broadcom and NVIDIA drivers would be included uh, out of the box. <coughs> uh, so what happened was, I, the install is exactly the same. But as you know in the past, <coughs> especially with Debian, um, it's difficult at times to install your proprietary or non-free drivers like NVIDIA, like ATI, like Broadcom. <clears throat> and so this does make it a little bit easier. Now, you do need, even though if I click on the network manager, you can see my Broadcom was configured out of the box. Now that has been true with a couple of uh, Debian distributions lately. So Debian is making inroads at least with Broadcom. So if I click on, if I sign in and authorize that network, it's, it's going to uh, connect to that network. And I'll show you that in a minute. <clears throat> but keep in mind that even though, and it says I am now connected. Oh, terrific. So keep in mind that even though it did connect to Broadcom and the drivers and all of the configuration w was installed during the installation I still w I, I wasn't able to use it for the install so for the install I still had to have Ethernet plugged in now as you can see I have wired connection and wireless I'm gonna disconnect the Ethernet and as you can see, my wireless network icon is now up in the system tray. So Broadcom, this package installs it, at least for me, flawlessly. No problems whatsoever. Okay, so let's get over to NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA, if I, this is right out of the box, by the way. This is the install that you have when as soon as you finish I haven't done anything except add a few multimedia programs to be able to do this video so as you can see NVIDIA was installed and NVIDIA settings is in the menu however the message that I get upon finishing the install once I reboot into my install it says you do not appear to be using the NVIDIA X driver please edit your X configuration file just run NVIDIA X config as root and restart the X server well I did that <coughs> and it does not work <coughs> excuse me allergies uh, it does not work what happens is uh, it basically corrupts your your X uh, config file and when I if I do that and I reboot I will have a black screen if I do control alt F1 to get to a root prompt then if I sign in as root and go in and change X org which is in etc slash x11 slash xorg config if I change that to the to the old because NVIDIA X config rewrites your configuration file if I change it back to the original file I'm able to reboot 
but I can't get <clears throat> at least so far I haven't been able to activate the NVIDIA that is pre-installed during the installation so thumbs up for Debian getting this non-free version where Broadcom and NVIDIA is installed but Broadcom works and NVIDIA doesn't now hit, let me tell you what else I did so I decided that <clears throat> I would uh, go to the uh, SGFXI uh, site and run the install script. Now, if I Google that, let me show you what what I get. So that is a that is a, an install script for install installing drivers. It has other um, if it has uh, the SMXI. It, it has other functions, and you might want to go to smxi.org and just read up on it. But basically, it's used to install NVIDIA if you use the component SGFXI. I did that. Uh, what you have to do is basically install the S S SGFXI script, run it from that Control-Alt-F1 prompt. Uh, it'll take you through the installation. Then you reboot. When you reboot your graphics will be, uh, your screen resolution will be different than you want. Um, so then you've got to control alt F1 in again and run it again. On that second run, it uh, does the proper configuration. So when you reboot after that, you have a perfectly configured desktop with the latest NVIDIA driver. There is only one problem doing that, and that is if after that you want to install Steam, Steam will tell you that it has to uninstall your NVIDIA drivers because it does not uh, play well with the Steam installation. So I went through that last night actually. I ended up doing the SGFXI, went to install Steam. It wanted to uninstall. I ended up having to uninstall. And <clears throat> that put me back to the Nouveau driver, which is not what I wanted. So I ended up doing a reinstall for this video. So the only uh, the only way I can think of to get this NVIDIA working properly is to remove what's there because it will not activate running NVIDIA xconfig. So if I remove all of the NVIDIA components and then go through the normal Debian install which I outlined in a prior video, that may work. Uh, and I I'll end up testing that and uh, see if I can tack it on to the end of this video. So um, just to recap, this is a wonderful installation alternative to the standard Debian install. I will post the link um, in the show notes to the to the to the website where you can download the non-free version of Debian Jesse. Uh, just keep in mind a couple things. Number one, you won't have Wi-Fi at install, so you'll need to have Ethernet. Number two, uh, even if you if you have a petition that's already created, uh, go ahead and reformat it to ext4 before you start the install because the install gives you the option to reformat your petition 
but if you select that it won't do it it just hangs this is not only true of this particular Debian non-free installation this is true in a lot of cases with Debian it's kind of hit or miss I've had it recently where it did reformat normally and then and then install and then I've had other cases as with this one where when I tried to install and I selected uh, to reformat my petition it just hung and I had to do a, a hard reboot on my uh, on my computer um, you will not be able to play any Battle.net games because there is a bug of some sort that exists between Linux and Blizzard uh, for their online Battle.net site. I have been able to resolve it with Arch. I've been able to resolve it with Ubuntu, but I have not yet been able to resolve it with Debian. If anybody has any information on that, uh, shoot it over to me, please. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to try the NVIDIA solution. I'll be back with you. <clears throat> and I, if that works, I'm also going to uh, theme this install. So <clears throat> I'll go ahead and I will theme it the way I usually do. And then you can see the before and after. But this is exactly what you'll see when you finish the install. So guys, uh, if all goes well, I'll be right back with you. Don't go away. Okay, okay, guys, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> so what I did, I, I ended up uh, having to remove all traces of NVIDIA that were put there during the install because running sudo NVIDIA xconfig just basically wipes out your graphics, puts you to a black screen. So what I had to do once I got to that black screen, because I wanted to test it again, I um, basically ran sudo um, apt-get purge nvidia um, asterisk. So that removed all traces of nvidia in the system. Then I was able to reboot. Um, well, excuse me, one more step. So I ran sudo nvidia, I'm sorry, sudo apt get purge nvidia asterisk. Then I ran uh, nano to remove the xorg config file. So I ran uh, nano xorg. Well, first I had to get into the. I had to get into the uh, directory. So basically, I had to do. Okay, then I ran a list, um, and then you can see xorg conf xorg nvidia x config original. So I had to remove. Um, everything but the original then I rebooted at that point it put me back to a normal desktop with the nouveau driver at that point what I did was I went to the internet I pulled up uh, the NVIDIA graphics drivers wiki page. Now you can see this was modified on June 15th. So it's it's new. So if you go there, what I did was I followed the uh, directions for Jesse, but I followed the directions for the 34096 because I didn't want to use Jesse backports. So I followed 34096. All it says is you have to have contrib and non-free in your sources, which I did. And then I ran aptitude update and aptitude with this command, which installs the headers and the kernel for your NVIDIA drivers. Okay, it says it installs the NVIDIA driver package, but it does not. So once you finish, uh, letting that run 
do a sudo apt-get install. Uh, I'm sorry, it does install the NVIDIA driver. It does not install the NVIDIA X config file. So once you let that run, do a sudo NVIDIA, I'm sorry, sudo apt-get install NVIDIA X config. Once that's done, you want to run sudo NVIDIA X config and then reboot. Once you reboot, you will be at your NVIDIA settings all configured with the 34096. So that's a little bit of a, a workaround that'll get you your basic NVIDIA drivers. So once I finished with that, I, I wanted to see if I could install Steam and ironically this page was updated on June 21st and should be accurate but it is not so for 64-bit systems for Jesse and Sid I'm running Jesse I have the non-free and the contrib so I have the sources covered I enabled multi-arch. When I go to install the Steam package, it tells me there is no package named Steam. When I go to install 32-bit OpenGL libraries, it tells me there is no such file available. So I do not have Steam and I do not have the proper libraries, 32-bit libraries, to run Steam. So that's where I stand on this, but that didn't, that only prevents me from running Steam. I won't be able to run Play on Linux or Battle.net, um, so until I find a solution. Uh, but in the meantime, what I did is, and again, this is the um, web page. I'll, I'll put this in the show notes. If you want to download the Debian uh, for whatever desktop you prefer in the non-free, adding the non-free components. As you can see my uh, Broadcom is working fine and that was working right out of the box. Although as I said not available during install. So I themed it. I added Plank as you can see, I uh, installed the Vertex Dark theme. I have the Fienza Dark Icons package. Uh, everything, I put the little Debian icon. I added the Whisker menu. I moved the default menu to the right. It's still there along with the, the same Debian icon. So it looks good. Uh, it's a nice functional system. Uh, the only thing is it, 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 it's not able to do a lot, whole lot of gaming. But uh, the NVIDIA graphics are installed. I've, I am able to make this video. I'm using GUVC View and Kazam. Uh, I have OpenShot, so I'll be able to uh, uh, render the video for the uh, once before I upload it to YouTube so by the time you guys see this all of that will be done so guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this little exercise and maybe you learned a little something from it uh, pl uh, please rate comment and subscribe thanks for stopping by the channel and I'll see you soon take care